Hello and welcome to my honest concept ship review. Uh, this time we're going to talk about the Misk Odyssey, uh, one of the most anticipated ships uh, in Star Citizen, uh, next to the Polaris and the uh, Orion, of course. And uh, it, at least it's anticipated by me uh, because I'm the owner of the ship. And uh, yeah, uh, let's just roll the intro and let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Grumpy. All right, so let's talk about the specs of the ship first. So it has a tier two medical bed inside of it. It also has a capital shield. It has a size three quantum drive and size three fuel tanks. Additionally, it has three turrets with two size five guns on each of them. It also has a cargo capacity of 252 SUs. On top of that, you have a hangar for a small ship. And for you guys that don't know, uh, a small ship is basically anything between the sizes of an arrow, a terrapin, a saber, and in the end, a prospector. And as you can see on the screen, uh, there is a terrapin parked on the landing bay. Now, I will come back to this because this is really important, but we should first concentrate on the things that this ship actually provides. On top of all of the components that I mentioned already, it has four medium-sized computers, which is one less than the MSR, for example. And why is this important? Because this is gonna be basically a jack-of-all-trades ship, and it will be capable of doing some data running or storing data on board. If we, for example, compare that to the Carrick, the Carrick has three medium-sized computers. So that's one less than the Odyssey, of course. The Odyssey also has one large size radar, while the Carrick, for example, has two. So it loses that battle to the Carrick, but the Odyssey's components are mostly just capital-sized. Except, of course, the propulsion modules uh, or the fuel intakes, fuel tanks, jump modules or quantum drives, which are all large sized components, just like on the Carrick. So in that department, they are pretty comparable. Now, the thing that this ship has and the Carrick doesn't is the mining laser in the front and a tractor beam right next to it. And of course, the onboard refinery, which you can see on the screen right now. Now, don't confuse this for a mining ship because the Odyssey will not be able to sell the refined quantanium and it can only refine quantanium and only mine quantanium. But you will need this, for example, in Pyro because Pyro has just one station and one station only where you can refuel, repair, etc. So basically with this ship, you will be able to not go to the station ever and just refuel yourself whenever you're in need. And as Star Citizen's verse expands, you will basically just live on the ship and use it as a portable home base. Additionally, in the front of the ship, just under the nose, it has a rover bay, but that rover bay also doubles as storage. Now, let's be honest, 252 SUs are not sufficient enough to do trading with, but that cargo space is in fact enough to fulfill all your needs during your exploration endeavors through the verse. Now, a lot of people have said that this ship is not really a Carrick killer, even though CAG themselves called it a Carrick killer. And the main reasoning behind that is because it lacks one large sized radar compared to the Carrick. But here's the thing. Why would you even need a cartography deck or the second large size radar if you have a big hangar in which you can store a terrapin? And in the lore, the terrapin is obviously the best and the most commonly used exploration ship. And on top of all of that, that hangar is a multi-purpose hangar. You can also store cargo inside of it. Or you can take out another ship, for example, a Vulture or an Expanse, and store all the salvaged cargo or the refined goods on board the Odyssey for when the time comes for you to sell those goods. Also, you can use it for other types of missions, like, let's say, FPS missions or, or other kinds of exploration missions where you would store all the loot inside of the Odyssey for further reselling once you're close to a station. 
And as I've said, the cargo area also doubles as a rover bay, but they are split into two sections. So if you want to take an Ursa rover, for example, you will still use all the 252 SUs of capacity of the cargo bay. But if you don't want to use the rover bay as a storage compartment, you can double the size of the vehicle that you're storing inside of the rover bay. So you can basically store a ballista size vehicle. Now, why is it also not the other way around, I really don't know, but with the cargo refactor, I'm pretty sure that we can ramp up a lot more SU boxes than we are supposed to in the Misk Odyssey. Now, with this ship being a jack of all trades, it means that it's not going to be a master of any one of them. With its three turrets that have two size 5 guns on them, it's comparable to a Redeemer, but it's also much, much larger than the Redeemer. It is also not the perfect exploration ship because it lacks the cartography deck and the second large radar that the Carrick has. It can also carry 16 size 3 missiles, which is just not enough to kill anything in this game. And I'm pretty sure that in the future it will still not be enough, unless you can utilize those computers for some kind of a electronic warfare, for example, I don't know. Staying on the topic of the computers, we really don't know what they're gonna do in the end, but there are no other capital ships that are comparable to this ship, except of course, maybe the Javelin, the uh, Kraken and the Idris. The Paris, for example, has only two medium-sized computers, while the Odyssey, of course, has four. And compared to the Anvil Carrack, it lacks the modularity of the Anvil Carrack. It also doesn't have a drone bay or a repair station like the Anvil Carrack does. But why would you need all of that when you can just store another ship of your choice inside the hangar bay of the Odyssey? Now, I don't know if you will be able to spawn a ship inside the Odyssey. So let's say you want to spawn a Saber or a Gladius or a Prospector inside the Odyssey. I'm not sure that you will be able to. Even though there are some opposing informations on the internet uh, and some people say that you will be able to. And also, on a few occasions, CAG also stated that you will be able to spawn small ships inside of capital ships, but I'm not sure that that's ever going to be a thing. All in all, I think that this is going to be a good multi-purpose multi-crew ship that you will be able to use as your forward base of operations. And as other systems in the game, such as data running and exploration come online, we will see if this ship is actually going to be a Garrick killer. And in the end, it just looks awesome. Come on, it really, it really does. The interior, the exterior, it just looks like a ship that was made for Star Wars and Battlestar Galactica, and I'm a fan of both of those shows and both of those universes. So should you buy the Musk Odyssey? I am not sure. Uh, if you have disposable income, uh, maybe, but still, maybe just wait for it to be in the game and just buy it with in-game money, because, yeah, it's it's not cheap, even in, uh, with the concept price. And if it was like 300 bucks, it would be a yes, and that's basically what I paid for it. And uh, with uh, the Patreon money, uh, and I'm gonna talk about that uh, a bit later, the ship prices in this game are just like too high and you should just not buy concept ships first, and then you shouldn't buy ships in a game that are that, that expensive so yeah i don't know uh if you want to buy it of course fucking buy it because it's it's gonna be an awesome ship and it's gonna be your home base basically so thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel and for supporting me buying the ship uh if you want to be a supporter of the channel you can do it by going into the description of the video info whatever uh there's a patreon link there and uh you can support the channel support me and uh yeah Thank you again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to bring the towel when you're traveling through space, and uh, bye! Mwah. See ya!